Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How have you been doing? I, me? I've yeah. been good. Well, I've been talking about myself all day, which is, you know, can be quite tedious. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like talking to people, but mm -hmm. not necessarily about myself. Well, I guess it must be nice to talk about a record as brilliant as this. You call it hard candy. What's the philosophy behind that next to the sweet tooth, I guess? I just like the idea that, you know, there's something hard and edgy about the beats and certainly the people, but then I think also there's a sweetness to it, there's a soft side to it, there's a, a vulnerable side to it, so it's really the juxtaposition of both of those things. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in paradoxes, <laughs> contradictions. Is, yeah. is that something very recent or coincidental? Well, it's not something recent, but I, it's one of those things that, you know, as you experience life more and more you realize that you can't take anything in life literally and one one as soon as you think you've got someone figured out or something figured out you they surprise you and you realize that you don't and then you realize that everyone is full of contradictions and you cannot take people at face value so it's like you know what are the the worst things that happen to you are often the best things that happen to you right mm -hmm. they're the things that make you grow so i mean that's just a perfect example of the contradictions of life mm -hmm. so that's the title of the record, really. After Confessions of, on the dance floor, did, did you already know that your next album was going to be also in, in the more club vein, but with a more hip hop urban kind of sound? Yes, I did. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so where did that it was? Go? It was the you know those were the records I was listening to. I loved Justin Timberlake's new album. I loved all the songs that Timberland did. You know, I was sitting down talking to Stuart Price, and he about the next record I wanted to make, and and he's like, well, whose records do you like? What music? What are you in the mood for? And I said, well, this is what I like. And he said, well, you know, why don't you work with them? Mm -hmm. So, voila. We had to get used to one another because we were all, even though we know about each other, we don't know each other. And it's very hard to write songs with perfect strangers. You do have to get to know them. Mm -hmm. that's, so that's a bit awkward at first. <laughs> yeah. yeah but... It's like getting undressed in front of somebody for the first time. You're like, oh, I don't know if they're going to like me. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. The period right before you put out a record, how do you go through that? Is that nerve-wracking? Is that...? Sure. But I've got so many other things going on that I'm a bit distracted, so that's a good thing. Who wants to sit around being nervous and anxiety-ridden all the time, right? No. Not me. <laughs> no. Not you. No. It's so maybe about the first single, uh, Four Seconds. Uh, four minutes. Uh, oh, sorry, Four Minutes, yeah. You um, couldn't save the world in four seconds. Okay. No. But what can you put in your own words what the philosophy behind uh, that song is? Me and Justin uh, saving the world. <laughs> no, um, it's a bit, it's, it's quite conceptual. It's sort of like we are, we are moving through life in all different stages of life while we're being swallowed up by this black void. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite cool. Yeah. It's really about the recognition that time is running out, that we are living on this planet on borrowed time. And that, you know, all, everybody's been given the warnings, their scientific proof that the planet, you know, in 50 years is not, is no longer going to be if we don't change considerably our lifestyle, our attitudes towards each other everything and also the state of the world the, the number of there's at least 36 wars going on in the world i mean it's just there are people starving and dying everywhere there's a lot of pain and suffering and so we can you know can we really just put our heads in the sand and forget and think that somebody else is going to take care of the problem i don't think so so it's the idea that we all have to wake up but it's also the idea that we don't have to wake up and be grumpy about it or wake up and be serious about it. We have to wake up and enjoy our responsibility. Yeah. I do think that we have that responsibility. I think you don't become a public figure or a role model. You know, I don't think I've achieved what I've achieved or reached this position in life for no reason or by accident. I think that I'm here for a reason. I think, you know, it's not all serious and I think you know, I, I am responsible for encouraging people to have fun, but also encouraging people to take responsibility and, and, and to think, yeah. On the 10th of March, you're going to be inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes. What does this a thing like that still, still mean to you, for somebody who we, we all think has achieved everything? It means I've been making music and working really hard for the last 25 years. So, I mean, 
I don't know. It, it, I know it's an acknowledgement, and you know, when I think of the word rock and roll, I guess I think it's kind of like a state of mind. You know, it's it's about being a revolutionary, doing it's about setting trends. It's about pushing the envelope. And you know, if people are saying this is what you've been doing for the last 25 years, then I'm very honored. <laughs> 25 years is one of those, you know, important numbers. Does it make you reminisce? Not really. No. <laughs> I'm just looking forward, not behind. I don't want to go back in time, that's for sure. I'm very happy knowing what I know and doing what I do. Um, but I'm, I'm incredibly grateful that I've been able to do what I do for so long. Making films because you have made two now. I guess you've written uh, the, 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 the Malawi film. I forget the title now. I am because we are. Yes, yeah. and then of course Filth and Wisdom, which you which you uh, presented in Berlin. Um, do you see the next couple of years divided between music and, and filmmaking? Is that a new direction? Yeah, I do. I just, I mean, I I I see it as a, an evolution of being a storyteller. I tell stories with songs and and making films. You know, I feel like in in many ways I've been sort of becoming a director for my entire career with my videos and my shows and and my records and all the collaborations that I do with people. In a way, it's, it seems natural. If you're a perfectionist and you're a creative person, then you are going to have moments of great anxiety. Absolutely. And every time I work on a project, I have my good moments, my ups and my downs. I doubt myself, then I'm sure of myself, then I doubt myself, then I love it, then I don't know if it's good, you know what I mean? And then you get too close to it, and you can't be objective about it at all, and then you have to put it away, and then you have to hear what other people have to say, and then they go, you know, there were several songs on the record, for instance, that I just thought, it's just not good. And then other people said, they're, no, they're amazing, and I said, really? You know, you lose perspective, so... Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. <laughs> yeah. uh, and what keeps you grounded then, <laughs> if, if, if things like that start to make you unsure? Well, well, having a family, going back to my children, you know, they don't really care about my records or the silly, you know, idiosyncrasies of my anxieties, you know, they're sort of like, you know, they want their food, they want me to read them a story, they, you know, they want very basic things, and so it pulls you back down to reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Lola and this is Rocco. And that kind of reality is that inspirational also for the for the songwriting for me? Well, it's inspirational from the point of view that you life is about balance. You can't just be working all the time and or worrying about whether your work is good. You have to have a time where you're, you're, you're recharging your batteries and doing things where the world isn't watching you and having an expectation. Mm -hmm. So that allows you to be inspired by things.